Okay, so a lot of people are going to get this percent problem wrong because they don't understand percent as well as they think. But uh, I think you can solve this problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at the question. The question is the following. 8% of W plus 1 is 50. What is the value of W? Now, a lot of you are looking at this and saying, well, boy, this is uh, involving a variable. Maybe this guy is going to be doing some algebra. And I am going to be using some algebra to solve this problem. But you, if you really understand percent, you can still reason through this without using algebra. So don't, uh, you know, quit here. In other words, if you feel like you're pretty good with the percent, you know, play around with this problem. I still feel like you can figure this out. So don't quit and feel free to use a calculator. But if you have the answer to this question, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll show you exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so one more time here. Again, do not give up. Don't be afraid of this variable, okay? In other words, be like, oh, no, I can't figure this out. So the question is 8% of W plus 1. Now, let me give you a little bit of a hint. W plus 1 is representing a number, okay? It's representing some value. So 8% of some mystery number is 50, okay? And of course, we want to know what W is. W is part of what makes up this number. So let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. W is equal to 624. All right, so that's the answer. Now, how did you do? Well, if you got this right, even if you didn't use algebra, if you figured this out, that is great. Let's go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are still a certified professional expert in the area of percent. And pretty much if you tell that to your friends and family, they'll be like, that sounds very boring. Leave me alone. You're interrupting my Netflix. But uh, anyways, with all jokes aside, great job. And uh, if you didn't know how to do this problem, don't feel bad because it is a little bit of a complex, uh, I would say complex problem, but it's definitely not a standard basic little percent question. But by the time uh, this video finishes, you'll be looking like this too. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so here is our problem. 8% of W plus 1 is 50. Now again, W plus 1 is just an algebraic expression that represents a number. Remember, in algebra, when you see a variable W, X, Y, it doesn't make a difference. These uh, just represent numbers, okay? Now, before we uh, do this problem, the problem in question, let's just review how to do a basic percent problem because understanding how to do a basic percent problem uh, is key to figuring out how to do this problem. Okay, so let's just review um, how to find the percent of a number. Okay, here's a simple example. If I wanted to find 8% of 30, how would you do this? Well, you would say, uh, you're gonna change this percent to a decimal. I'm assuming most of you understand that. Now, uh, well, of course, that's the first step. Okay, so we're gonna change the percent to a decimal, then we're gonna multiply it by the number. Okay, so 8% as a decimal is 0.08. Then we're gonna multiply by the number 30, and we'll do this in our calculator. We get the answer 2.4. But I'm missing a big step here because I'm not telling you how we changed um, or how we uh, went from percent to a decimal. Okay, so anytime you want to convert a percent to a decimal, all you have to do is divide by 100. So if you take eight and divide by 100, you're gonna get the decimal uh, 0 0.08. Now, some of you are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're making it too hard. Just tell people that they can move the decimal point over two places to the left. And I'm like, yes, you are right. So 8%, if I said, where is the decimal point uh, right here with 8%? Well, the decimal point is right after the 8. So that's 8.0%. So the result of dividing a number by 100 is the decimal point scoots over two places to the left. So instead of dividing by 100, if you can remember, um, to move the decimal point over two places to the left, that's perfectly fine. 
Okay, so 8% is the same thing as 0 0.08. We take that and multiply it by 30, and our answer is 2.4. Okay, so let's uh, kind of rewrite this question here. So 8% of 30 is what? 2.4. 8% of 30 is 2.4. So that is a big hint here because anytime you see the word is, it's equivalent to that equal sign. All right, so the best way, in my humble opinion, to solve uh, more interesting percent problems is to use algebra. Algebra really is a great tool. Uh, that's why they teach it in school because it makes uh, math problems so much easier. And let's go ahead and see how we can use this same setup okay, to solve our problem. Okay, so here is our problem. We have 8% of W plus 1 is 50. Well, W plus 1 is just some value. Okay, so just kind of think about it. It's some number. So 8% of some mystery number is 50. So how would we find 8% of this mystery number? No big deal. All we have to do is take this 8%, write it as a decimal, 0 0.08, and multiply it by this value, this number, which, of course, is W plus 1. But you don't have to know the value, but we can express this algebraically. So 0 0.08 times W plus 1 means 8% of W plus 1. But the rest of this uh, sentence here, or the rest of this problem, uh, really is the key to solving the problem. So 8% of W plus 1 is or is equal to 50. Okay, so if you understand how we got to this point, if you understand this equation, Really, the rest of this problem is having some basic algebra skills to solve for W. Okay, so let's go ahead and take the next step now, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't interrupt this lovely uh, percent uh, problem if I didn't need your support. Okay, I need your support, and the best way you can support this channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell as well. Now, if you are struggling with percent or if you want to learn mathematics from me, I'll give you some suggestions at the end of this video. But let's get back to this problem here. Okay, so here is our equation, 0 0.08 uh, times W plus 1 is equal to 50. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is solving a basic linear equation, a one-variable linear equation. This is the kind of stuff you will learn like in basic algebra, pre-algebra. So if you don't know how to do this, don't uh, you know despair. I'll walk through the steps, and I'll give you some quick suggestions on how you can uh, learn all of this stuff if you're interested in learning it or if you need to learn it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is take this 0 0.08 and then we'll, uh, use a property called the distributive property. We have to distribute this 0 0.08 and we have to multiply it by W and 1. So 0 0.08 times W is 0 0.08W. 0 0.08 times 1 is 0 0.08 and that's equal to 50. All right, now when we're solving equations in algebra, the main objective is to get all of our variable terms on the left-hand side and all of our numbers on the other side. Okay, so that is kind of the, the main objective. And the way to do that is we have to use the golden rule of algebra. And the golden rule of algebra, of course, I'm kind of making this up. Um, no, I'm not making up the actual, you know, principles here, but I'm just kind of making up the name, the golden rule. I mean, that's my rule. But, um, or my name for the concepts. And the concepts is the following, okay? An equation is basically like a, a teeter-totter or a seesaw, okay? I don't think these things exist anymore in uh, playgrounds. Uh, that was one of the benefits of growing up in the 1970s. You just go out to the playground, you would get hurt every time recess. It was so awesome. Anyways, I digress. So here is our equation, okay? So in other words, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. It's in balance. Now, if I add 10 pounds over on this side, it's the it's going to get out of balance, right? So it's going to kind of go like this. Well, if I add 10 pounds here and I add 10 pounds here, now for some of you out there that have an engineering background or a physics background, you might be like, yeah, Mr. YouTube Math Man, just going to make sure that the 10 pounds isn't way over here because you can have leverage. Yeah, listen, we'll make it easy. I understand what you're saying. But if we basically do the same thing to both sides of uh, the equation, we're, we're keeping the equation in balance. So that is the main kind of idea when you're solving algebraic equations. You can add whatever you want to both sides, subtract. Or you can do anything you want more or less as long as you do it equally to both sides of the equation. All right, so we're going to get all our variable terms on the left and all of our, excuse me, all of our number terms on the right. All right, so we have 0 .0, uh, 0 0.08W plus 0 0.08 is equal to 50. 
this is a number, I need to get it over to the other side. So I can, how can I get rid of this 0 0.08 on the left-hand side? Easy, I can just subtract uh, a 0 0.08 from this positive 0 0.08 because this will make it uh, be zero and it would make it disappear from the left-hand side. But we have to keep in mind the golden rule. I'm gonna subtract a 0 0.08 on the left-hand side. I gotta do the exact same thing on the other side, okay. So now we're gonna add down in a column manner 0 0.08w plus nothing is 0 0.08w. Uh, 0 0.08 minus 0 .08, 0 0.08 is zero. We don't need to write that zero. 50 minus 0 0.08 is 49.92. Now, the reason why I'm taking the time to really explain the algebra here is because uh, some of you may not know algebra, okay, or maybe you forgot all this stuff. And so that's why I'm kind of breaking it down nice and easy so you can, uh, you know, not be intimidated by algebra, all right? You can learn this stuff. All right, so now what we have to do is uh, find what W is equal to. So to get to that, this is 0 0.08 times W. So what we're going to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.08 because 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.08, anything divided by anything is one. So that's gonna be one W, and in algebra, a one W or a one X, we just simply write W or X, okay? So W is gonna be equal to 49.92 divided by 0 0.08, which of course is 624. All right, now let's go ahead and check this answer here, and let's plug in 624 into where this W is at right here. Because we'll replace the W with 624, and then we'll just check this out and just make sure that we indeed did this right. Okay, so the, this is gonna be 624 plus one. Okay, so 624 plus one. Last time I checked is 625. Now we're gonna take 8% of this value, right? Remember, in, this was the equation, okay? 8% of what is 50? Okay, now what we're saying here is 8% of 625, right? This is 8% uh, of 625. Is this 50? Well, 0 0.08 times 625, if you plug this into your calculator and do all the number crunching, indeed, you'll see that the answer is 50. So this all worked out in that way. You can be like, yes, I understand percent. And if there's any one practical math skills that you math skill that you want to understand uh, for real life, that is percent. Imagine how many times a day you see percent. Okay, you see it everywhere. You see it in the news. They're talking about inflation, interest rates, mortgage rates. You go to the store, do you see sales? You want to buy a car? You got to consider what is you know if you're gonna you know unless you're gonna buy the car cash. Anyways, you kind of get my drift. This symbol is everywhere okay especially around the time when you have to do your taxes as well right so anyways again when it comes to uh, mathematics and practical application of math in your life the more you know about percent the better off you'll be now if you want to learn uh you know percent or learn more about percent or more about math or more about just you know algebra let me give you a couple quick suggestions if you are a math student i'm going to leave links to all these courses check out my, my pre-algebra or algebra one courses uh, those are the best courses for you if you're not a math student you just want to learn some math again you're like boy this uh you know kind of maybe motivated me to kind of relearn some basic math well i got two great courses for you check out my foundations course you'll find it uh uh, find the link to it in the description as well. This is a quick little uh, course, just reviews all the basic math that uh, most of us forgot. Uh, if you want to go further, okay, if you want to learn basic math but go further, check out my Math Skills Rebuild a Course. Now, in that course, I teach you everything. Basic math, I also teach you a ton of algebra, geometry, even a little trigonometry and some probability and statistics. So those are two great options for you. But also I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel that you can uh, go through if you're interested as well. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.